It's the final full day in Germany. Philip is hard at work inside of the office building. I am going to walk around and see if I can find a post office. And then I need to try to find an adapter that will go from an American plug to the European Union plug because I left one at home and my video from yesterday hasn't been uploaded yet. I don't speak any German and a lot of people don't understand a whole lot of English. We're going to see how this goes. There's a post office right next to a pharmacy, but I don't see the pharmacy. Keep looking. Guess who found the pharmacy? This guy. That went much better than expected. The only part that I had a little flub up on was uh, when she asked me if I wanted my receipt. So, that was the worst. I did really well, but to be honest, she didn't really ask me much. She just kind of looked at my postcards and then put stamps on them and charged me money. I don't even know how much I paid, but it was worth it. I made it. Walking around in Germany making purchases on my own. Mama would be proud. Daddy too. We're back in Innsbruck for the final Duna. Shout out to my homies who brought me here last time. Alessandro, Philip, Philip, you, yeah. Kevin, Jan. You guys are awesome. And they asked me where I wanted to get my final Duna and I said I wanted to go to the best Duna. That's City Grill. Duna time. <laughs> Hello, I'm Fritz. <laughs> So good. This is the final bite of the final Duna. It's a sad moment. I almost want to just keep this and take it in my suitcase with me. But that's not going to happen. Bye bye, Duna. It's been so nice having you. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sad because it was his last dinner in Germany. It's you? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we just finished eating the dinner. Philip is going back to work and I am crazy tired, so I'm gonna sleep in the church van just for a little bit while Philip works. Good night. Guten Nacht. That was my bed for the past hour. Now uh, I'm going to go up and see what Philip is doing. We're going to go shopping and then off for the rest of the day. As I was leaving the church office and saying goodbye to everyone, they stopped me and told me they had a gift for me. And they gave me three very awesome things. They gave me a book that has information about all of the churches that, that I visited and spoke at in the entire district and even more than what I went to. But uh, these are all of the churches that I was able to visit. That was really, really nice. They gave me a giant map that has all of the churches on it so I can show you back home where all I've been all around Germany. And then the third thing they did, it was so kind of them. They took a homemade Döner recipe in German and translated it to English for me. And so I get to bring the Döner back to America for all of you. But this was so nice. Thank you all so much. Uh, the adventure is not over yet, but it is winding down. And it has been so great to meet these awesome people who are willing to do such nice things to bring me here and make me feel welcome and uh, just give me these great gifts. So thank you. And uh, now we're off for me to buy some gifts for you back home. See you there.
just picked up some German made gifts, handmade, at the llama shop. <laughs> it's not the llama shop, it's a llama farm. But they had some really cool stuff, so. Oh, here's some llamas. There's llamas. Yeah, llamas. Moo. <laughs> I don't know what sound llamas make, but we were at a llama farm, just picked up some gifts for my family and some friends. Got a couple things at the grocery for you back home. The ice cream is not for you. I will not be bringing that back. We're going to eat that tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. But I got some candies, some bread mixes, some chocolates, and all sorts of different things to bring home. Hopefully, they don't stop me at U.S. Customs. I'll be home in a few days with some gifts. Philip and I are hanging out tonight, having a bro night yeah. in my final night here in Germany. We are eating pizza, yeah. eating some ice cream, yeah. and watching Netflix. Yeah. And Philip was making fun of me because I've never seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And when he asked me why, I said, because it's scary. The man's mask is scary. And yeah. he told me that even hockey players wear masks. And I told him it's different because hockey players don't wear masks made out of human flesh. So, Philip, I want you to tell me what you think I'm going to think of this movie. Am I going to be scared? You said I'm going to pee my pants. Yeah, I so, think so. Tomorrow it will stink in my living room. <laughs> but it's okay. I have windows. I can open it. <laughs> So we are going to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre as our bro night. And I have to stay up until 4 o'clock in the morning um, to get my body back on track. So maybe this movie will help me not be able to sleep. Yeah, I think so. We will see. We're that's about... What were you saying? That's the reason why we uh, watch it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're watching this movie to help me, not yeah. to hurt me. I want to help you. You want to help me. Thank you, Philip. Yeah. You are a good <laughs> friend. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre bro night time. Here we go. Yeah. We just pulled the pizza out of the oven and Philip gave me this little life tip. With this, it's better to cut. Do you use those for paper? <laughs> Sweet. Isn't it already cut? Don't you just have to pull it apart? It's perfect. <laughs> We just finished Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And what do you say? It was a good movie. Yeah. It wasn't really scary, but it was good with a good story. What do you think? I think it's true. And, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did not pee my pants. <laughs> and, uh, only that I changed my position. Philip is delirious right now. <laughs> he's just talking nonsense. He's, uh, you know, he's very tired. <laughs> but today was the final full day in Germany. It was a great day. Got the final Duna. Yeah. Got to have a bro night with the homie in the hood. That was a ton of fun. Tomorrow it is an early morning. We're going to drive out to Thomas's house, have breakfast, and then drive off to Dusseldorf where I will fly in to America. America, I will see you again tomorrow afternoon, and then I'll be home later this week. But it has been an awesome, awesome time. I'll do a wrap-up video once I'm actually all the way out of Germany and talk about just how much it's meant to me. But it has been an awesome time. I'm looking forward to being home, but I'm also definitely going to miss this place in a big way. I will see everyone as soon as I get home. Until then, 